Hey there, welcome. It's Lexi Tommy here. Today is February 24th, and it's a big day here in Canada. It's Canada's Anti Bullying Day, or Pink Shirt Day. This whole day started in 2007. It was founded by David Shepard and Travis Price. The whole day started when David and Travis realized that another student at their high school in Nova Scotia, Canada was being bullied for simply wearing a pink shirt. David and Travis did not sit back. They did not watch it happen and walk away. They were inspired to do something about it. That evening, they went out and they purchased 75 pink shirts. They had 800 students out of the thousand students at the high school show up the very next day, all in pink shirts. They showed up in support of that one student that was bullied. Nearly the whole school backed that student that day. They stood up in a big way and they wore a sea of pink in solidarity. Ugh, could you imagine how embarrassed that bully would have been? It's a beautiful thing. The inspiration, the message, the power of the pink shirt was born that day. From there, the message of the pink shirt and pink shirt day has traveled far and wide. It has helped change our views, our thoughts, our decisions, our actions, and our words. It became nationally celebrated in Canada on a day just like today, February 24th. It is now celebrated and adopted worldwide. Pink is the official international color for anti-bullying. It was all started here from just two students in Canada. Everyone has experienced it from school to home, in friendships and at work. You can be bullied young or old of any race or gender. Pink Day focuses on it all, the victim, the bully itself, and the bystander. They all have their role. Bullying can happen in many different ways. It can be physical, it can be verbal, it can be neglectful and isolating. Now everybody knows what a bully is. The word is often used and talked about, but what I wanna to talk to you about is how to not be a bully. Watch your words. Your words can affect someone for a lifetime. Many adults are still recovering from the bullying that they suffered in childhood. And if you make a mistake, if you feel badly, admit it, apologize for it, and make a change. Hands off. Keep your hands to yourself. No one likes to get pushed or shoved or even worse and be an inclusive person in your life. You never know the gifts that someone might bring when you let them in. And if you've been bullied at home, remember that you can choose a different path, a different life. You don't have to do the same. If you don't like it, don't become it. And if you are the bully and you feel deep down in your heart of hearts that this is something you tend to do, I believe in you. I believe that today, tomorrow, the next day, you can make it different. I also want to chat with you about how to not be a victim. Some victims get stuck in the role of victim their whole lives. It's important that you know a few steps that you can take to ensure that you don't become a victim yourself. Knowing your own worth. Knowing you are wonderful as you are with your own gifts and talents, you are unique. It takes a little practice, but in the meantime, you can know that you are so worthy of everyone's respect. Don't give a bully a reaction. The reaction might be all that they're looking for and their motivation to keep doing it over and over again. Tell someone you trust. Go to a trusted friend or adult, an authority figure, Make sure that the bully is stopped in its tracks, but also ensure that you have the support you need along the way. You don't have to wear the badge of victim your whole life. You can get the support and encouragement that you need to move on to a healthier existence. 
Now here's one that's often overlooked. It's one that we've all been in the position of, the bystander. Let's look at how not to be a bystander. First, realize that the person being bullied today could be you tomorrow. Tell it like it is. Tell the bully to stop. Tell them that it is wrong and unhealthy. Tell someone that you trust or someone of authority. Support the victim and get them somewhere safe. I'm a social worker, so I can tell you firsthand the people that lash out are actually people that are hurting themselves. Try to remember, hurt people hurt people. This message is for all of you. No matter what position you were taking today, yesterday, or last month, remember you can be the change and tomorrow can be a new beginning. Life is so much bigger than what you are seeing right now. It is open to endless opportunities. And this moment right here, it'll fade by next week. It'll not be your crushing moment. It will not end you. And know that there are others in your spot, just like you. Find the support you need to make the change and a difference. If we all had an experience with bullying, we can all be educators, advocates, and champions towards the change. Stand up, be vocal, this is not okay. Find someone safe to talk to and band together, making bullying the bully's problem. Make it wrong and make it unacceptable. And above all, be loving. Be loving to each other. We all need it. Be safe and be uniquely you. You matter. You are a gift in this world and you will find your people. You will find yourself. You will find your way. And if you are a parent, tell your kids if you were bullied as a child. Tell them what to do about it. Have it be an open dialogue and conversation. Show them how you moved forward and how it's possible for them to move forward too. And if you haven't, if you haven't moved forward, you may be stuck and holding yourself back. Make today be the day that you start taking steps to make a difference for you. Above all, if you're a child, a teen, a young person, you are cared about. You're cared about by other teachers and other students, by your friends, your parents, by neighbors on the street, by me. We care about you. Remember to stand up and band together. We are all in this side by side. And please be good to each other. Happy Pink Shirt Day, everyone. Share your beautiful selves with the world. I'll be watching. For links on Pink Shirt Day and other healthy resources, click in the description below. Like this video and subscribe for more inspirational, organizational life coaching. Leave a comment that says, I'm thriving. If you have come past bullying in your own life or if you are working towards it yourself, make this a message you're not scared to talk about. Share this video with your schools and your teachers, your kids, your community centers, your social workers, your other children's programming. We can all stand together and make a difference. Thanks for listening. We'll see you soon.